What is going on, Movie Meals? Movie Meals, it's it's here. I mean, it's here. Thank you, the Movie Meal Patriots, Kimberly and uh, Carrot. You guys are the best. Um, go be a member of the Patreon. Get some merch. New merch is dropping tomorrow. Check it. Check it. New Whoa. merch dropping tomorrow. Brand new merch dropping tomorrow. So go check <laughs> our merch page tomorrow, and you will see the new merch as it'll be out. Um, Spider-Man, No Way Home. Do we just get into this? Do we do all the talking after, Kyle? No, we're going to. Let's talk about it after. Let's watch it now. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, and that's my answer. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, a, a one, a two, and a three. Okay, Doc Ock, good job. What a one, two. That was a lot. Just get to the trailer, Sony. Okay. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. I like that. I liked when it, Kyle. you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting some visitors. We started getting visitors. From every universe. Huh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That looks Hello, cool. Peter. You're not Peter Parker. What? Ooh. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, like what's that. your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. Wow. So, Scooby Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. Please, Scooby Doo this crap. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. It's their fate. Wow, wow. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Wow. I love all Look, this. there has to be another win. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not going to take this away from me. Peter. I love all this. You're struggling to have everything you want while the world tries to make you choose. Oh. Oh, I can't save everyone. I think I saw it. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh no. Wow. Wow. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively at movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th. Spider wow. Monday. Spider Monday. Wow. We didn't get no Toby, no Andrew. Kyle's gleaming. Can, He's gleaming. I can hear the He's, screams of. He's beaming. Of, oh my God. I can hear him too. I can, I can hear, hear the hear. screams of anger from over here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey Kyle, what'd you think of the trailer, my guy? You're the biggest, biggest Spidey fan I know. What did you think? That was a good trailer. That was a really Stop. good trailer. Stop. If if nothing else, be but honest. To set up the premise of no, I'm serious. It was awesome. You're it, holding it back was, your love. It was awesome. I when it comes to the premise, this crazy premise of live action Spider Verses getting all of these villains from the different Spider-Man movies and pretty much make it a Sinister Six version of, you know, mm -hmm. of uh, kind of from different multiverses though. But do we have all you six? Know, there's, we got I'm Green guessing, Goblin. I mean, we got Electro. Yeah. We got Sandman confirmed. Sandman. We've got Lizard. I saw Lizard. We got Doc Ock. And then we, we didn't who see Venom. Like he's, we didn't see who Venom. Seems like he, no, no Venom. I did. I thought I saw a glimpse of the glider from Amazing Spider-Man Two. I could be wrong though. It was just really quick, and I you thought it was Harry? the same look. 
Yeah, but I could. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'd be shocked if James Franco's in this. I wonder if it was, you mean the amazing no, Spider-Man uh, two? Yeah. Amazing Spider-Man. 2. Oh, yeah. that's, that's Dane DeHaan, isn't it? I, yeah, I thought the yeah. same thing. I thought that might also be him. I think that's Maybe. a, I think that's an interesting, interesting call. Um, yeah. But anyway, when it comes to, you know, the whole premise of this, this trailer really sells it and it does a really good job. Plus, at least for me anyway, I like that they're not showing, you know, other characters like what if Mary Jane's in this somehow? Like the, the first they Mary showed Jane, her. Where she's oh, in not this, Mary Jane. Or... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. The I'm first one, the first I'm one. An idiot. Characters like that. Um, and even um, you know, the Toby Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Spider Man. Maybe they're there, maybe they don't, you know, there's pictures flying around. I'm not paying attention to those. I want to see if it happens or not, when I'm at the theater seeing this, I'm glad that they're keeping that at bay because there still is going to be excitement and so much speculation about it moving forward. It's more fun that way without getting too crazy and spoiling things for everyone. You know, you people know who I'm talking about out there. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, this trailer just sells this premise really well. I'm really hoping it's executed really well in the final, uh, in the final version, in the final uh, movie that we see this in. And yeah, I I think this is really impressive, at least from the trailer, and it definitely got me hyped, despite me, you know, being annoyed at Spider-Man fans for a while with all the real leaks or the fake leaks and all that sort of thing. So we didn't get to six. So we had we have Doc Ock, we've got Sandman, Electro, Lizard, and one Green Goblin, potentially two. I'm sure the nerds will freeze frame it if we do get you know, maybe more of a hobgoblin. I think that was what they were originally going for in the amazing Spider-Man two was more of the hobgoblin than the green goblin. Um, so maybe we get that. We know venom's in the movie. Probably we know they're going to oh, duke maybe. it out from, from, from venom two. We've already spoiled that on the channel. I'm not going to apologize for spoiling again. Uh, we all know that's, that's, that's likely that there's your six. There's your six right there. Um, Doc Ock seems like a good guy to me in this, which makes he, sense if he's he became good again at the end of Spider Man Two. So I love I that line in the trailer of him going, "You're not Peter." Like I love that he, yeah. you know, because everybody was like, "How does he know Tom Holland?" And it's like he's looking at a guy in a Spider Man suit. The last time he was alive, he was fighting a guy in a Spider Man <laughs> suit. Like, give looks the more high tech than the regs that you were wearing but what i really (laughs) loved about this trailer and what i think it did well we got action shots we got insane Mm -hmm. shots it stayed on tom it stayed on him and there was a lot of explanation of what this movie is going to really be that yes what happened was when the spell went wrong villains that spider-man had killed have returned and um i liked that line where dr strange is like I'm sorry, kid. And, you know, then he goes, me too. He takes the thing or whatever. And, you know, we don't know what that is. Probably something to help fix this or something like that. And looks like he's going to be at odds with Dr. Strange a little bit too, which uh, I think there's going to be a lot of interesting Spider-Man in this. And it makes me feel very comic happy. It feels like this is something Spider-Man would do. If he doesn't think his buddy on the Avengers is going to help him out, He's going to be like, I'm sorry, take what he needs and try to get out of there and save the day. I'm all for this. I thought the trailer was awesome. I love the villains. Electro looked way cooler than he did in the amazing spider. I remember he had the blue electricity. He was, it wasn't yellow. Here he was yellow. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I liked the design. Of course, you know, the performance wasn't that great, although it wasn't really oh, Jamie Fox design? that movie. Yeah. With the blue, I always kind of liked it. Although you know, the, the performance in the final product wasn't great, but I always kind of liked the design, but Hey, change it up. Why not? It's fine. No, I I'm, I'm right there with you. Uh, I, I, I like the design too, but I think going a little more, you know, comic accurate here makes sense. Right. Cause he was, sure. it was always electricity is, excuse me, is yellow. Um, as well, you know, the way we kind of view it anyway. Yeah. Um, and in television and mediums like this, but I, I thought the trailer was perfect. I thought it was saying we're sticking with Spidey and saying, look, if you, if you guys want this so bad, we're still not going to give it to you. And I think that's ballsy. I think it's (laughs) smart. I think Kevin Feige walks into Sony or, you know, and, and Hey, let's not be too harsh on Sony. They have done some things, right? Maybe it was them who walk into Disney's office. Somebody walked in and said, let's not give it to them. 
Like, I bet you the conversation went very uh, similar to this where, where, you know, they, they, they talk as um, months ago when the, the Mandalorian documentary came out and they were talking about the, the big reveal spoilers for season two, where, where Luke is there and a lot of got things got leaked. Boba Fett got leaked. Ahsoka got leaked. All these things got leaked. And there were rumors and thoughts of like, maybe it'll be Luke Skywalker who shows up. Like Luke might be there. Luke might be there. And Disney, John Favreau said, we were just praying it didn't get leaked. And there were some rumors, but all we had to do is keep saying no, 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 no. And the, and the reveal hit. And you know that the conversation between Sony and Disney was probably like, Hey, look what happened there. We could give them this, but is this the money shot? There's a hundred money shots in this movie. I mean, let's just pick and choose the other ones. And I think it's smart. And to be honest, I don't know if I want to watch another trailer. I'm sold. I don't think they need to release another trailer. I think the fans are so desperate for one, but do we need another one? No, we have a base, real good, better base idea of what this story is about. And we've got the money shots. We know more villains are in this. We missed out on a couple, you know, Venom, they tease at the end of Venom 2. Don't see him here, really. We've got a couple little teases, but for the most part, we 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 can still go in very blind. I think it's very smart. Any other thoughts? Um, I think this is going to be the final big trailer um, moving forward, because looking at this, it says that the tickets on sale are November 29th, and this movie's coming out the 17th, so that's what? A month Four from weeks today. out, three weeks out. Month from tomorrow. So I think we're month from tomorrow. Yeah. So I think it's we're gonna 16th. start seeing a very big marketing push about to happen, especially when the November 29th date comes around. But I don't think it's in the form of trailers. It's gonna be in, you know, TV spots and this and that that say tickets on sale. But I, I think this was the trailer. And, and I honestly, think honestly, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't think. I just don't think there's going to be a big final one happening after this. And there's still going to be TV spots and clips on YouTube where fans can still pick and pick out like screenshots and make their speculation still. Remember when we had, uh, we were like avoiding the force awakens TV spots because they were starting to put out like, 12 tv spots and all of them was new footage and we were like no 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 um yeah you know the fans have gone so nuts with this yeah i tweeted it kyle and i have talked about it but like the the fans have gone nuclear i mean they have gone nuclear to the point where critics are jumping in and being like i got a link and it's like did you really and he's like i don't know if i did (laughs) they have (laughs) talked with sony's exact blah 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 it's like (laughs) <laughs> they are losing their minds. Everybody's losing their minds. This is worse than anything Rise of Skywalker, Force Awakens, or Rise of uh, uh, Last Jedi got. Way worse. I mean, way worse. I remember being in the thick of those battles, and I, I am, I'm avoiding this one. This is ridiculous. I just sit there and, and laugh at this point. People are losing their minds. Calm down. You're all going to see the movie. The movie's going to come out. You're going to love it. You know, if you look back to the, the, the Avengers Endgame trailers, there's some pretty big money shots in there that we thought mm-hmm. we theorized this is what's going to happen. This blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. None of that happened. The money shots still landed. The movie was still awesome. So I think we just need to trust Kevin Feige. I think we need to trust Sony. I think they've proven after two movies that this partnership works, their creativity, their marketing is fine. It works great. I think this is smart. I think the fans need to calm down. And do they need another trailer? No, because the fans have gone nuclear. And when the fans go nuclear, they're doing the marketing for you. I bet you they've slashed that budget in half. They're like, who needs it? TikTok's losing their minds for our movie. What's the point of dropping something else? Let's give them one more big trailer, call it a day. You know, we might get a final trailer, which is going to be some similar shots, but who knows? Yeah, it's going to be a very, even if it was, I wouldn't be shocked at all if it was going to be like a cut down version, like a minute long, a minute and a half or something like that. Yeah, Um, I agree. Yeah, there's a fine line between, you know, fans having fun, doing the screenshots, coming up with the uh, the theories as to what's going to happen. It's fun. Like, we've done that before, too, in the past. I can't tell you how many times. We literally have. We literally have. I can't tell you. Spider-Man movie. (laughs) Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 2. I remember Avengers Age of Ultron. That trailer was awesome. And we definitely did that one. That trailer, to this day is still one of the best trailers i've got no yeah i love that trailer but there's a fine there's a fine line between that and ruining things for people trying to find leaks trying to make up leaks you know it just lessens the fun out of it and until this trailer i wasn't feeling the fun for (laughs) this movie to be honest so i'm glad that this trailer really stuck the landing and still gave me enough of a feeling to where i'm going to get 
surprises out of this. And I really hope <laughs> after this trailer, some of those Spider-Man fans will calm down just a little, just a little bit, guys. Like the movie's coming out. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah, I agree. Well, uh, guys, what did you think of the trailer? Comment below, let us know, or like, subscribe, share. Um, thank you to Moon Meal patrons. Go join the Patreon. It's all linked down in the description. Remember, tomorrow, new merch drops. Christmas merch, it's all coming out tomorrow. Watch for it. We'll, we'll keep posting about it. There might even be a little Thanksgiving promo code coming around. So pay attention, watch it. Uh, like, subscribe, share, share us around, all that amazing stuff. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, Mom. See you guys.